But look at this! Oh my gosh, this, this is such a great statue. <laughs> I'm gonna open all these because you guys know I don't really like to keep my toys. <laughs> Some people hate it, but uh, not us. I can see the difference. I'm impressed and jealous too. Good morning. We're off to go pick up something that is gonna be really crucial for me personally and even for the show. Ricky, where are we going? I don't even know. I just woke up. Pretty much made Ricky come with me just to help. But we're going to get to buy a shed because I'm going to be able to, yes, expand my own game room that I have now. You saw the last video, right, Ricky? What's in, what's in the back? What's behind? The, what's behind my sofa? Wait, uh, basically what is back here, I had to still make this somewhat functional for my family. We have some storage, so I put up some some piping, some like gas pipes or stuff like that. Hung up some curtains and there's just some storage back here. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, that's a lot of storage. He stores a lot of stuff back there. That would be a ton of gaming stuff you could put on there. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Ricky, I was inspired by doing our game room tour videos and seeing your stuff. I was like, all right, I have cool stuff. Mine looks really cool, but I don't really have room for like a lot of like the toys and the goodies and even games at all. It's mostly display stuff, so. I love the organized messes. So we're off to go pick up a shed. I went just withdrew. I'm gonna butt. So let's go pick it up. Dang, you could've gotten a sign for that. We came to Andy's house. We're borrowing his truck. Think it'll all fit in here, Ricky? Yeah. This is a big boy truck. So we're here at the house that we're picking the shed up from. They have the instruction manual still, so I'll be able to put it together. I don't wanna go show it back there and film in their house because that might be a little invasive. Maybe I'll just get a couple shots, but otherwise, yeah, looks good. Ricky and I are gonna disassemble it and uh, take it to my house and get ready for me to expand my game room. And again, I'm taking out the storage stuff in my game room behind the curtain putting it in this new shed. Also, this is allowing me to get a ton of extra room for all the stuff we have lying around our house that my wife needed a shed for. So it's a win-win for my wife and I. We're standing in the shed now. So this is gonna be where all the storage and my wife's stuff goes. And then I will have extra room in the game room. Good job, Ricky. Hey, don't forget that this part goes Step. Let's see. You need to have the power. I have the power! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost cool. <laughs> Almost. And then you blew it. Take the watch. We got it. Shed's complete. It's in the back of the car right now. We're gonna set it up when we get back, or at least I am. It's debatable if I can convince Ricky to help me. <laughs> I'm still waking up. The best part of waking up is Ricky! In your cup. The part of the shed that's used for storage is probably from about right there to right there. So this whole wall going deep that way will be storage that I can use. Here is all of the shed laid out, not ready to put together yet until Ricky comes meets with me later. So for now, I'm gonna take some of the storage that was in my arcade and bring it out here and get ready to put it all in here and make a happy wife, happy life. Why do you always <laughs> laugh when I'm upset? 
This is over, I just measured it. It's almost 10 feet long. So this is 10 feet of room that I can use for shelves and video games and all that because again, you know I got the kiosks and the arcades and the big arcades and the tons of room and the computer stuff and editing and more arcades, but I don't really have my video games or even toys set up in a really good manner where I have a lot of room. So this is gonna cover it. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a lot of work. Well, I think it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I just realized that there's four feet of wall right here that I haven't even taken into account because I didn't really think about it as a usable space because it's where the side of the sofa was. But now I can use that. I can actually probably add more wall space, add another arcade, something like that, and then fill all this up with the retro games and the retro toys. Man, I just created myself so much space by buying that shed and making the wife happy. Again, I keep reiterating that because that's very important. Don't take up all the room and make it selfish and about you. Make it something that works for the family and makes it even more of a bonus for the family than for you, really. Looking through some of the old storage. Look at that. Me and Andy. Look at that hair length right there. Also, look at this. Wedding day. Aww. Thought it'd be funny to show you guys this one too. Look at Ricky there. <laughs> also this, my old band. It's my buddy David there. Me back there as well. So Ricky is on his way now. Everything you just saw I did by myself, but I couldn't do the roof alone. It was impossible. I couldn't figure it out. I needed someone to hold another side of it for me. So Ricky's almost here and this thing is gonna be done before we know it. <laughs> That's legit. Ricky's here. Uh-huh. There he is. Back. How's it going, Ricky? You know, it's fun. It's always actually pretty satisfying once it's over. You're like, yeah, I just built that. I did it. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, bro, quit screwing up my stuff. <laughs> hey, if anything, I fixed it. So Ricky and I pretty much just got done. And the, the thing I noticed real quick, I know I'm not using this for an actual game or anything, but looking, Ricky, with if you think about how small arcade one-ups are, you could honestly probably line this thing up if you ever wanted your own cheap game room. If you don't have a game room, you have someone in a yard. So this, even though we're not making it a game room, this is completely for storage. I genuinely think this you could make this, put some shelves on each corner or arcade one-ups or something like that you could have yourself a pretty cool little sweet game room at a, a bargain price if you don't have an extra room. So, might be worth checking out. Where'd the tip go? Look up where the screw is. Hey, my tip. Inappropriate joke. Look at this, here's the roof sealed up. Every corner, every edge is screwed down and sealed and secured. No rain can get in, nothing like that. Feels good. Are you so glad you came to help me now? Yeah. See, you almost didn't come, huh? <laughs> Inappropriate joke. <laughs> I was just thinking about all the time I spent helping you out. <laughs> <laughs> Now, unbelievably dirty, sweaty, and gross, but I cannot believe actually looking at this and seeing how much extra room I'm gonna have in this game room. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is an absolute dream come true for me. I can't believe this is real, that I get to take this amazing room that I've already built myself, that I just got done showing you guys for the first time on a game room tour, arcade tour, and then now I have all this extra room. 
there's a little bit of imperfections, a weird cut in the plywood right here that was just kind of left undone because this was just gonna be a storage area. So that's it for this update, this life-changing update for me. This is a huge part of my world, a part of my life, and to get all this new room and free space given to me that I can now use and work with, I am very excited. It's gonna be messy for a while. Things are dirty, things are gross, but we're gonna get there to a new complete spot and I'll be taking you guys with it. But we'll see what happens. All right, thanks for watching and let's see what's next. Might be the end of the video, might not be, I have no idea. All right, see you people. All right, it's the same day later in the evening and I am officially setting up shelves already in the new in the arcade new space that I have. That is completely done, that's been done. So I took a lot of these uh, over with me. I'm gonna open all these because you guys know I don't really like to keep my toys inside of their bags or their, their, their on their cardboard. Here we go. So I had no room for any of these. So now that I have room for all this stuff, uh, I have a ton more by the way, I am gonna open all of them and go put them on the shelves. So just an update, you know, kind of things going on. All right, I'm gonna open one on camera just to kind of, you know, get the feel for it. I'm gonna open this ultra detail fit figure, UDF-177, Legend of Zelda Link figure. They make some other cool ones in the back right here. You can check it out. I want you guys to, to feel this feeling of opening toys. You know that feeling. It's, uh, it's a good feeling. Some people hate it, but uh, not us. We love it on the show. Oops. Oh yeah, figures are so much cooler when you open them. So here it is. You uh, place it right there. You pop Link in. And there he is. Just like that. Now watch, you place him down and check him out. So I'm gonna open all the rest of these and place them on the shelves. And uh, that's gonna be it for the evening. Because I don't wanna do anything else. I've been going at it since 7 a.m. These are gonna go on the shelf. That's it, just for now. really like about this last action hero skull attack jack figure is the way everything actually fits properly one of my least favorite things about action figures is when you get accessories and they like barely hang on or don't really fit anywhere and you kind of just have to leave them in certain places and they get lost this guy has everything locked in i love it oh and this and this still works ready god oh, that. oh bye -bye. that is all of them open for the evening know why I'm recording on this thing, but that's it. All right, I'm out of here for real this time. It's bedtime. I've been going from 7 a.m. to look at that, 7, 10 p.m. Goodbye. <laughs> Gabo, for the first time, just got to see my so far very in progress. Extra room that I have now, more like five feet deep, 11 feet wide. And I can see the different I'm impressed and jealous too. Super awesome. Dude. It's very cool. When you have new space coming in, it just feels good to kind of Yeah, man. On. I don't know if feels since you have more space and more open, mm -hmm. it's not that hot anymore. Yeah, it's not that Probably hot. Probably the weather too, but it's it doesn't feel that hot. Baby, come back. Gabo, yeah. come back, sir. Some of those things that were down here. Bro, I need to go to the restroom. These things down here were for you so you can get them first. No way. A couple little gifts down there for you, bro. G.I. Joe things. I'm not a G.I. Joe guy. I know you are. So okay. these. Look like Cobra Commander, get away. G.I. Joe. It's Cobra Commander. He's stealing our missiles. Well, get him, rock and roll. Here comes Grand Slam. Yeah, fight for freedom wherever oh, Mort, is, uh... Mort actually gifted me those a while ago, but he told me if you have a better place for them, make a better spot for him. And since Gabo's become a G.I. Joe man. Oh my God, dude. Those are not yours, bro. Oh, I don't know if I told you, I'm full, 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 full into G.I. Joe's now. You are. 
And then I don't know anything about those, but I bought those a while ago. I know they are G.I. Joe, and Bro. now they're yours. He's G.I. Joe, and he's cool. Look at this. Yeah, those are cool. I think Jay, actually, from the Game Chasers, was telling you to pick them up a while ago. I know this one. Thank you, sir. Yeah, oh dog. This is amazing. I was gonna kiss you, but you're holding the camera, so thank you, sir. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so lately I've been making some change in my game room and I got a, I don't know if I ever told you, I got a closet full of stuff that for me makes me sad because there are cool, awesome stuff inside a closet and not on display. And it's not because I don't want it, I don't have space. Aww. So probably that's why I'm giving away a lot of stuff, a, a lot of stuff because I'm a giver, I'm not a seller. Okay? What about Mikey? Mikey, who's Mikey? <laughs> All right, big boy, your turn. You can come in. I have, yep. I, I, I saw this stuff in your trunk, Gabo, and I was trying my hardest not to look. I kind of saw, but I like, you know, when you see it and you're like, I'm not gonna react. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look at it. I'm just gonna kind of visually know it's there, but not react to it mentally. So now I get to. Okay, I got a couple of things for you. Okay. So let's begin. I'm so excited. I got this Mario and Bowser. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And Gabo, you're okay, this going out of the box. Yes, sir. Okay, because this will be out of the box. It's, it's yours, bro, it's yours. So you can do whatever you want. Beautiful. Don't sell it. Uh, this yeah. is amazing. That's what I'm saying. Remember, all of this come from my personal collection. And from your personal heart. Oh yeah. This is beautiful. Honestly, Gabo, Happy thank man. you so much, dude. Shut up, there's more. Ah, too bad I don't have anything. Remember, I remember I first time when I when I bought this, mm -hmm. I show you, and you was like, "Oh, dude, that's awesome!" Oh my gosh! And this is so coming out of the box, Gabo. This is and so. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, a lot of people ask why we do the off-camera jokes. Reality, it's 2020. Cancel culture is a real thing. They can't handle the jokes we're saying. So, but look at this. Oh my gosh, this, this is such a great statue. In my opinion, I was at Ricky's looking at his statues and I told him I think this is one of the best looking statues. It's probably not the most detailed, but it's definitely one of the prettiest, cool to look at. You got the big Genesis mock-up, you got Sonic. It's fantastic, it's beautiful. Gabo, honestly, insane. And I know there's two more behind me, so. Open! I don't want to open it yet. All right. Stay there. Oh, shut up and stay there. Ganondorf! Oh, and so this is Ganondorf from Wind Waker. Oh my gosh, World of Nintendo, nice and big. It's it's everything I like in displays. Again, everybody likes their own ways. Sometimes some people like like small detailed figures. For me, I like the big. I like the Mario that he gave me that's big. The Bowser's big. This is a big Ganondorf, colorful, beautiful from Wind Waker. Uh, one of the most beautiful art styles in a video game. Gabo again. You kind of look like Ganondorf, to be honest. Oh, it's okay, it's cool. He's probably a little better looking. Honestly, thank you. You're very welcome. So this is the big boy. Um, I remember I bought that, uh, it was like two years, no, one year and a half. I was right there with you when you bought you it. You was with me. We was debating, we was yeah. fighting. Uh, what do you think for 40 bucks complex? Yes. We'll give you 50. Absolutely. Oh. Ricky said 50. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> son of a gun. The you guy money. only asked me 40 bucks, so you know. I remember, I'll be honest, it was pretty hard for me to let it go, but I was going to give it to you anyway on Christmas. Oh, and wow. Yeah, so I think it's the perfect time since you are doing new stuff in your awesome game room, and I give it to you because I love you, Okay, just grab it. Shut up I and grab it. I cannot hold it anymore. It's been staring at me. Oh, and it lights up! <laughs> I'm saving this spot. I'm not gonna touch that. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. It's it smell like I expected. It smells better it, than that. It's supposed to smell like... It's gonna go right here and it lights up. And then right below it is gonna be a glass neon light PlayStation that I ordered. They're gonna go right here, side by side. Oh my gosh, it's gonna fit like a glove, Gabo. 
I know I gave you an Xbox sign a while back, and uh, I, know, I know how you felt. How you said it was kind of hard to give one of these away. Yes. That's how I felt. I was like, yeah, it's kind of hard. It's like I say, at the, at the end of the day. Oh. Yeah, at the end of the day, wow. they're in uh, each other's game rooms. You know what? Uh, never mind. I gotta, I gotta keep it. Thank you. I'm awesome, right? I don't even have anything to Dude, say. Dude, I'm awesome, right? You're awesome, for sure. All right, baby. I have to let you know, though. It was a pleasure. Remember that I love you. But you're going to a good place now. Reef is going to take care of you. But please, promise me. Shine! 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 Our show is real friendships. Yeah. Not based on what people are collecting. Heck, half the time on our show, we don't even buy stuff. We're out going to Baja and looking at sheds and stuff like that. Our show is about it's like, it's brotherhood. Like, dude, it's like the G.I. Joe's, for example. You guys know that I'm full, 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 full on G.I. Joe's now. And the first thing you you did and Ricky is giving me your G.I. Joe's. The minute we find out, that's just how it works. That's yeah, dude, it's like that. It's, it's like a community. Me, you, and Ricky always give each other stuff. Yes, exactly. But Mikey, <laughs> Say goodbye, goodbye to the ones you love. We're out of here. We're officially saying goodbye. What a fun day. Just me and Gabo awesome. today, you know? Yeah. Gotta hang out. We traded we some got a, toys. We got a date. It wasn't really a trade. We just give each other stuff just for fun. We've never yeah. done like actual. Well, like, let's be honest. We miss Ricky and Mikey. Yeah. And Complex. We've missed Complex for a while, yeah. though, but he's just busy. You know, we love him to death. Yeah. So, also, I'm actually growing like a beard. Who knew? I'm a man now. I'm a man now. I'm a man now. I'm a woman? Ow! Right when you slapped a woman. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Unsubscribe, all right? See you yeah. Later. Please hit the no like button. The no Unsubscribe like. and leave a, a bad comment. No bad words, all right?